I'm never gonna learn how to ride my bike. I can't do it. Hmm. I can't do this. I'll never be able to do this. Oh, it's too hard. How does he expect me to know this? I can't do it. I'm too small. Ugh. I wanna go. If these types of scenarios hit too close to home, and you want to raise resilient, yes I can kids, then you need to learn about the grit concept, taught by Angela Duckworth. And I'm going to teach you how to raise kids with grit. Hi, I'm Iftikhar from C2STEM.com. Our mission is to help parents raise learning loving kids from seed to STEM. If this sounds exciting to you, then please subscribe and join our Seedlings community. All of us parents have at some point heard our kids say the dreaded C word. I can't do it, I can't do it, Mr. Krabs. And let's be honest, even us parents have had our moments where we've had a victim mentality and blamed our challenges on others. But if you've been watching my growth mindset series, you know that the brain can change and that giving up is a fixed mindset mentality. And so in today's episode, episode nine of our growth mindset series, I'm going to introduce you to the grit concept coined by Angela Duckworth. Angela Duckworth is a remarkable role model. Check out this resume. She's a Harvard graduate who started her career at the renowned consulting group McKinsey. She then decided to give up a paycheck, a huge paycheck, to go teach seventh grade math in New York City. And this is where she had her first insight that talent isn't the only predictor of future success. And she crystallized this insight when she went to graduate school and she studied the relationship between grit and high achievement. What she discovered and created was the grit scale that's able to predict who's going to win the national spelling bee or who's most likely to pass Marine boot camp. In her book, Angela gives the example of Steve Young, the legendary 49ers quarterback. And I'm going to have Rizwan tell you that story. During college, Steve Young was the A-string QB. A-string QB? I didn't even know that existed until now. Steve Young had the chance of quitting. I called my dad about two weeks later. I said, Dad, I'm done. I'm quitting. I'm coming home. And his famous line is, you can quit, but you can't come home. I don't live with quitters. My parents were my foundation. Good parenting is something I wish everyone could have. His parents taught him resilience. And guess what his dad was named? Grit Young. Almost hard to believe, right? So Steve Young embodies grit. Well, what are the four characteristics of being gritty? Number one, you need to be resilient. Number two, you need to engage in deliberate practice. Number three, you need to be full of passion. And number four, you need to engage in a higher sense of purpose driven by longer term goals. My first tip for instilling grittiness in your kids is to embody grit yourself. Be a role model for your kids. Kids are smart. They don't listen to you. They watch you. They learn from you. And so you need to walk the walk. Hey, I've got an idea for tip number two. My dad told me to imagine like it's the end of the school year and to write down a few goals that I've achieved that year. Let me show you some. The things I achieved this year are reading fifth grade books, writing chapter books, earning more patches in karate, learning more Girl Scout songs, learning an instrument, learning more about the body, and practicing drawing. So, so third tip. Provide feedback that is demanding but supportive. For example, Rizwan, I know this assignment was hard, but I expect that with practice and the right process, you're going to get better at this. Okay, you're going to learn this material. Right. Number four, encourage curiosity and passion. Let your kids figure out what they're passionate about. It's okay if it's different from what you're passionate about. You can't force your passions onto your kids. That just breeds resentment. They need to figure out their own calling. Final tip, do less. It's natural for us parents to want to help our kids with life. We want our kids to have the best grades, to go to the best colleges, to have fruitful and loving relationships, to practice our spiritual beliefs, to be financially secure. And so we then start to micromanage. 
don't micromanage. Don't help your kids with their school projects. Let them empty the dishwasher, pack their own lunch, manage their own homework schedule. Yes, they'll make mistakes, but life's hard. Let them learn this now instead of learning this later. This might sound harsh to you, but remember, Angela's research has found that gritty people are happier. And ultimately, isn't that what we all want for our kids? I hope you enjoy this video. I have to give credit to Angela Downing Peck, who profiled Angela Duckworth for the magazine Costco Connection, and a lot of the material that I used in today's video came from there. I also want to give a shout out to my new friend Stephen Show 08, a brand building expert whose latest video was a brand review of my Seed to STEM website. If you're interested in learning about Seed to STEM story, Stephen does a better job of explaining it than I do. If this video is helpful, do me a favor, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment down below, share it with your friends. This way I know to make more videos like this. I'll see you later.